It's a common fact that WWE Chairman Vince McMahon has a bizarre and particular sense of humor. <laughs> I thought you were the silver. <laughs> Some say his humor is that of a school child, with toilet humor and childish jokes being to his taste, and some comedic segments involving these subjects have literally made him cry with laughter backstage. Yeah, we could just imagine Vinny Mac rolling on the floor saying, <laughs> Good one, pal. But one thing Vince seems to find hilarious is putting mini versions of popular WWE superstars and WWE television, and over the years, this has occurred on more than one occasion. But which times were they, and which wrestlers were they? Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 humiliating mini versions of WWE wrestlers that appeared on television. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos, and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10. Mini Batista, Mini Mankind, Mini Kane, and Mini Mr. Kennedy. The January 14th, 2008 edition of Raw featured perhaps one of the most bizarre and unusual matches in Raw history. Hornswoggle would compete in a six man Royal Rumble match, and his five opponents were mini versions of popular WWE superstars. This featured the likes of Batista, Mr. Kennedy, Mankind, and Kane, all mini versions of them. However, also in the match was the great Kali, and this wasn't a mini version, this was the actual seven foot Punjabi nightmare. The match was a true spectacle, and ended when the great Kali would come to the ring to take out Hornswoggle before Hornswoggle's on screen father, Finley, came to save the day. Number 9 Mini Bret Hart Following the Montreal Screwjob in 97, Shawn Michaels and DX continued to mock and belittle Bret Hart in the weeks that followed. One of the ways they did this was a segment on Raw two weeks following the incident. In the ring, HBK and Triple H would call out Bret Hart, and when Bret's music started, there was some genuine belief from the audience that Bret was actually back. However, a mini version of Bret came out, and HBK ended up putting him in the sharpshooter, recreating that infamous moment from just two weeks back. HBK would then put a WCW sticker on his back, and then DX proceeded to boot the mini version of Bret out of the ring. We can't help but imagine Vince having a little smirk on his face when he was watching this. <laughs> Bear with me. Number 8, Mini Kurt Angle. During the build to Kurt Angle and John Cena's match at 2003's No Mercy pay-per-view, Angle would try his best to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cena in what Cena knew was best, and that was rapping. But one segment that stands out in this rivalry was when Angle would come out to the ring on SmackDown pretending to be Cena. Suddenly, Angle's own music interrupted him, and a mini version of Angle would show up and manage to get the real Kurt Angle in an ankle lock in the middle of the ring. Finally, the real Cena would show up, and both Angles would easily dispose of the future WWE Champion. Number 7, Mini Goldust. When AAA began a working relationship with the WWE in 97, several of AAA's mini wrestlers were turned into mini versions of popular WWE stars. One of these wrestlers would be Mini Goldust, who would be portrayed by Mini Karis Lamomia. As Mini Goldust, he would mainly team with Mini Vader and Mini Mankind, and would work a number of AAA events as the characters, as well as make appearances on WWE television. A new mini version of Goldust would also appear on TV in 2002 and 2003 for a brief period, but this was not played by the original wrestler behind Mini Dust. Instead, WWE opted to hire someone new and relatively unknown for the role. Number 6, Mini Macho Man. Macho Man Randy Savage said he had a little surprise. Look, it looks just like him. Mini Macho Man was a mini version of Hall of Famer Macho Man Randy Savage. He would be portrayed by Claude Giroux, a wrestler who would notably go on to play Dink the Clown. Mini Macho's first appearance would come in the summer of 93 on an episode of Raw during a match between Doink and Savage. In the match, Mini Macho would climb from under the ring to distract Doink, meaning Savage could roll up Doink and win the match. Mini Macho would be called the Macho Midget moving forward, and would also make a few more appearances along Macho Man before predominantly teaming with the Bushwhackers. Number 5, Mini Dudley Boys and Mini Hardy Boys. In the year 2000, WWE allowed Edge and Christian to incorporate comedy into their tag team. As a result, they would become one of the funniest tag teams in WWE, as well as be a part of some of the most memorable segments in history. One of those memorable segments occurred following SummerSlam 2000. Edge and Christian, alongside the Dudley Boys and the Hardy Boys, had just competed in a TLC match, and the three teams had never been hotter. In the aforementioned segment, Edge and Christian would introduce mini versions of the Dudley Boys, as well as mini versions of the Hardy Boys. 
Sad they couldn't find a mini Lita though, they could have completed Team Extreme. Both of the mini teams would come to the ring with mini versions of tables and ladders, and they would be belittled by Edge and Christian before the real Hardy Boys would take to the ring and take out Edge and Christian and stand tall to close out the segment. Number 4 Mini Mankind and Mini Vader Two of the WWE minis that appeared on WWE television as part of the AAA partnership were mini versions of Mankind and Vader. The two would mainly appear as a tag team and make a few appearances on Raw. Number 3 Mini Boogeyman Perhaps the strangest duo I have ever laid my eyes on, Boogeyman and Little Boogeyman. Mini Boogeyman would appear in WWE during the Ruthless Aggression era. He would first appear during the Boogeyman's feud with Finley and Hornswoggle, and his main aim was to keep Hornswoggle in check whilst the Boogeyman and Finley fought it out. Most notably, Mini Boogeyman would actually receive a pay-per-view match during his short run. He would team with the real Boogeyman to lose to Finley and Hornswoggle at 2007's No Way Out pay-per-view in a 7-minute match. He would stick around for the next few months, but he would be written off television in the summer of 2007 when he was attacked by Mark Henry on SmackDown. Oh no! Mini Boogeyman would never appear on WWE programming again. Number 2 Mini Booker T Mini Booker T was involved in one of the most infamous segments of the WWE's Invasion storyline. Booker T had just lost the WCW title to The Rock in the main event of SummerSlam 2001, and sadly for Booker, his run of bad luck would continue. During the build to The Rock facing Booker T and Shane McMahon at the Unforgiven pay-per-view, The Rock would introduce a Mini Booker T to the audience. Mini Booker had all of Booker's mannerisms down extremely well, and we'd even hit a Mini Spinneroonie. The segment came to a close when Lance Storm would interrupt to the ring to confront The Rock, and Storm would hit a super kick on the Mini Booker T as he quickly made his escape from the ring. And number one, Mini Undertaker. The Mini Undertaker segment on SmackDown in 2004 took fans by surprise as it was rare for The Undertaker to take part in any comedic angles, especially when he was using the dead man persona. In the segment, WWE Champion JBL would call out The Undertaker, and he would get The Undertaker, but it was a mini version of him. JBL was about to hit the tombstone on the mini version of Taker before the real Undertaker showed up to save the day. Hilariously, Mini Taker would perform The Undertaker's signature pose at the same time as The Undertaker. However, he didn't take too kindly to this and decided to chokeslam Mini Taker. But there you have it folks, 10 humiliating mini versions of WWE wrestlers. Be sure to leave your comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for exclusive lists, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.